People often ask me, why study glaciers in Abu Dhabi? When glaciers melt in Greenland or Antarctica, it raises sea level, and that information arrives in Abu Dhabi about a week later. It's a global problem with global connections. There is no correct place to study this, and in particular cities like Abu Dhabi, which are so at sea level, will be uh, greatly affected by this. What we're studying is, is how naturally and under climate change these glaciers, Greenland and Antarctica, might accelerate into the ocean, losing more than they're gaining by snowfall. The largest change in surface elevation you'll see occurs at one or two key spots. And one of these places is called Alulasat here in Greenland. And recently that ice has uh, been undergoing a fighting a, a losing battle in which it's pouring more, much more ice into the ocean than the ice sheet is gaining. You have rock here on the fjord sidewalls covered in snow. You have the fjord which is about a kilometer deep. You have the glacier which is about a kilometer thick sitting on rock. It's grounded. In the 1840s it was here and then it gradually receded over the last century and then it was about here and then in 1998 so it was going back slowly. In 1998, the Gulf Stream waters pushed towards Greenland, went under these glaciers, came actually in this fjord, we have the data for it, traveled along the bottom of the fjord and hit the glacier, and the glacier was here. And now, as I said, this is a kilometer deep, but as you go back, it gets deeper and deeper, the bedrock. And so there's a process whereby this ice uh, will start to because it's thicker, it will actually start to flow faster. So this is, will have some effect on sea level, but a modest amount globally. But this exact same process is presently uh, unraveling in Antarctica. And what it will mean is over century to centuries, you'll have a meter or more of sea level change around the entire planet, which is a significant number since most people now live at the coast.